Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. This episode is called Declassified, How Car Dealers Secretly Rip You Off. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe, like, comment, and follow the show. Also, I'd like, you, I'd like to tell you about a service called HollywoodIsCalling.com. It's a great service that allows you to purchase live phone calls from your favorite celebrities. Uh, it's something you can buy for yourself or as a gift for someone you know. A live 15-second call is $19.95, and a live 30-second call is $29.95. So give it a try. Hollywoodiscalling.com. Now let's get started. The number of customers out there being ripped off by car dealers is absolutely skyrocketing. You would think that in this economy, dealers would be more careful than ever with their customers and try to avoid scamming them or defrauding them or perpetrating some sort of con game that would alienate them. But the opposite is just true. The more challenging the economy becomes, the more desperate the new and used car dealers out there are becoming. And this is causing them to engage in a tidal wave of scams to try and rip off the consumer. Today, we're going to reveal those scams and show you how you can avoid being taken advantage of. At the end of this video, we're also going to show you a great trick that you can use against them that will eventually allow you to sue them for a significant sum of money if they try one of these scams against you. So let's get started. Here are the scams and the frauds they're hitting people with. One major scam that a lot of used and new car dealers will perpetrate is that they will hide or temporarily shut off the error or warning lights that tend to be lit up on the dash of used cars. If a car has a mechanical problem that they don't want to solve, they'll go in with a, a computer and temporarily shut off those warning lights on your dash so that a prospective customer doesn't see them. Uh, they will then sell you the car and uh, when you get home and the dashboard lights start warning, uh, start start lighting up uh, in a few days, um, and you call the dealership, they'll say, "Well, we sold you the vehicle as is." The way to prevent this from happening to you is when you take a car from for a test drive. Uh, before you bring it back to the dealer, you can pull the car over somewhere and plug in an onboard diagnostic computer under the dash of the car. And it will scan the system and tell you if it's been reset to hide the warning lights. If so, then don't buy the car because they're trying to rip you off. You can buy one of these inexpensive pocket-sized OBD scanners for as little as $40 and just take it with you whenever you go look at a car. This little device can save you thousands of dollars and many headaches. The next scam is the financing bait and switch. This one happens when you get the car home from the dealer and they call you to let you know that your original financing was not approved and you now have to apply for another loan with a higher interest rate. They often tell you that if you don't come back with the car, then they'll send someone to repossess it from you and damage your credit. The best solution to that scam is to get your financing from a bank or credit union. Never get your car financed by the dealership that sold it to you. The next scam is really common with both new and used dealers. They will advertise a car for an insanely low price just to get a bunch of people to show up and then they will tell them the car has already been sold but they have another vehicle for them. It's at this point that they'll try and upsell you on a more expensive car. The way to prevent that uh, is to call the dealer and tell them that you're an hour away and you want to do a video call with them so they can give you a video tour of the car over the phone before you drive an hour to get out there. Tell them that if you like what you see, then you'll come right over afterwards if they promise to hold it for you while you drive the car. The next really common scam is where they will try to rush you into making a deal. When a dealer feels you're being reluctant or slow to make a deal, they will try and rush you by telling you they've got a deal for you, but it's only today and, and, and it, it ends at the end of the day. This is a lie designed to get you to rush into a deal before you carefully examine the paperwork uh, and have thought things through. The best way to avoid this scam is to always walk away and take your time and do your research. You can always come back in a few days to that dealer 
or another one just like it once you're armed with all the information you need. The next scam involves selling you extras. These extras are usually things like rust proofing, undercoating, and paint sealers. They are all a waste of your money. This is where the dealers make a lot of their profit. Meaningless services like fabric sealers or protection uh, for your car by etching VIN numbers onto the windshield. These often provide little or no real value to you. Many dealers will automatically try to add these to your bill, hoping you don't notice them. If you see them on your bill, just void them out with your pen and refuse to sign the deal until the dealer prints up a new contract without these options. The next scam is the low credit score scam. Here, dealers will often tell you that your credit score is much lower than they thought it was in the original deal they offered you, so that deal is now canceled, but uh, they can offer you another deal at a higher price or with a higher interest rate. You can avoid this common scam by checking your credit score before you go shopping. The next con job is where the dealer tells you they will pay off the loan on your trade-in, but they don't really do that. They just add the cost of the trade-in to your purchase price. You can always spot this scam by checking the paperwork carefully. Uh, the next scam involves trying to get you to focus on the monthly payment instead of the price. They'll keep asking you what kind of payment you want and then offer you that payment, but in doing so, they will increase the price, the interest rate, the down payment amount, or the term of the deal. To avoid this, always focus on the price and the term and then the payment. You can also use plenty of smartphone apps to double check what the payments should be on your phone while you're sitting there with the salesperson at their desk. This next scam is the mother of all car scams and is often done by the largest dealers as well as some of the smallest. The nightmare here is that it can sometimes be used to double the price of your car without you realizing it until it's too late. Here's how it works. You go into a dealer and you find a car that you like. You negotiate uh, the terms of the deal and the dealer brings back a pile of documents for you to sign. You sign them and then he says, to sit tight for a few minutes while he takes the documents in to a service manager or his financial manager or his uncle or his grandmother or his, or his dog and has them check the documents for final approval. 20 minutes later, uh, the salesman comes back and says that the manager has signed them but they didn't print them out clearly so we need you to sign them again. Now, you just assume that these are the same documents so you go ahead and sign them without checking them. What's really happened is that the terms of the documents have been altered dramatically. Perhaps it's an alteration to the price, the interest rate, the terms of the deal, the trade-in price, or whatever they decide to scam you on. You just sign the docs again and you, and you, and you go home. When you get home, you decide to look at them one, one more time and you realize that you've been scammed. The price is now higher, the trade-in value is lower, the interest rate is higher, it could be almost anything that's been changed in their favor. So how do you avoid this scam? Uh, well, whenever uh, the salesperson brings you documents back to sign, always do the following. First, sit down and take your time to read them. Then sign them if they're okay. Then pull out your smartphone and photograph each page before you allow the salesman to take them back to the manager. Once you have the photos of each page, then it will be impossible for them to alter them, and if they do, then you'll have proof, and you can either tell them to change the documents back immediately, or you'll have the, uh, the evidence you need to file a lawsuit uh, for, for this behavior at a later date. We've seen people who've been victimized by this scam agree to purchase a car for 20000 and then when they get home, they realize the documents say that they bought the car for $48,000. This is an extremely profitable scam, and if they only get away with it half the time, uh, they, then it can allow the dealers to make millions of extra dollars a year in doing so. So always keep that smartphone with you uh, when you go to the dealer. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.